Hey YouTube, it's Scott, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice on 4.2.1 using Red Snow. I'll be demonstrating using the iPhone 4. So, let's get it First, done. First, you need the firmware for the right device. So, go to this website, which is in the link, and you'll just scroll down to the correct device iPhone, iPod, iPad, or Apple TV. Click the right one, in this case, the iPhone 4, and download. Boom! Next, you want to download Red Snow. The way you can do this, you just go to the iPhone dev team blog, maybe just Google it, type it in, you know, whatever. Scroll on down, download the application for the right device. There you go. Next, open up Red Snow. Find it in your computer, open it up, browse for the correct IPSW firmware that you just downloaded. Point it to that. Once you've done this, it'll just load up. Click next. This will load up. This is a good time to turn off your phone, so I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now you can click next and make sure it says install Cydia. Click next, then just follow what the prompt tells you to do. Click the power button, like so. Then click the home button as well. Hold them both together. It'll tell you when to let go, then let go. Let go of the power button. And boom, you're pretty much done. Just waiting for the reboot, which will just be a white screen and then it'll pop up. And voila, you're done. Well, with that part. And then your phone will go through a series of processes and I'm gonna speed that up in the next part. And if this starts happening to your phone, just throw it away, it's completely worthless. Nah, I'm totally just kidding. It'll go through this process for a while, probably about three minutes. Um, you're good to go and it'll reboot. And voila, you did it, good job. Now you'll wanna start getting the phone ready for um, the next part because you won't be able to open up City, it'll just keep crashing. So we'll repeat the red snow and just install it again. The browser, find the IPSW that you used, point it to that, and repeat the process with just one change. Select next and don't forget to turn off your phone if you haven't done that yet. All right, and the next step, you're gonna to wanna to change it from install Cydia to just boot tethered right now. Click next and repeat the process as exactly described before. Finally, after a while, your device will reboot and you'll get a sweet looking pineapple on your thing and that means you're good to go. Here is another sped up version of the whole process that I'll go through. And uh, good job, man, you did it. And so it does take a while and you will be able to open up Cydia. And unfortunately, you know, this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning you're gonna have to keep plugging it in and doing this every single time you reboot it. So it was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but eventually I'll have another video with the untethered jailbreak. Well, that's all for jailbreaking your iDevice. Check back for updates for the new untethered jailbreak and the unlock when that comes out. And if you're looking for a way for Apple to pay for your Christmas gifts this year, click the link below. Thanks for watching this edition of Let's Keep It Simple. For more simple how-to videos, please rate, comment, subscribe. And if this video helped you out at all, please rate five stars. Thanks.